Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be proving an inequality. So we're supposed to prove that if a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared is equal to 4, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus d cubed is less than or equal to 8. That's what we're going to prove. So we're going to start with the given condition that the sum of the squares of four real numbers is equal to 4, and we've got to show that the sum of their cubes is always less than or equal to 8. Obviously, you can replace a, b, c, d with numbers. You can also use 0 if you want. Notice that a squared, b squared, c squared, d squared are all positive or non-negative, I should say, because they can be 0 as well. Uh, so you can just plug in some numbers to see what that looks like, but that's not going to be a proof. So we need to prove it in the general case. So let's start with the given expression. The sum of the squares is equal to 4. So I'm going to isolate one of the variables. And it, it doesn't matter because we have the symmetry. Notice that whatever I find out about A will be true for B, C, and D. So let's go ahead and isolate A squared. We can write it as 4 minus the quantity B squared plus C squared plus D squared. Since I'm subtracting the whole thing as a quantity, I'm going, to write it, I'm going to write it as a sum. Now, this tells me the following information. B squared plus C squared plus D squared is sum of squares, and that can never be negative. So in other words, this expression is always greater than or equal to 0. If B, C, D are all 0, obviously, this sum is going to be 0. So this tells us that we're subtracting a non-negative quantity from 4. So the answer is supposed to be, the answer is supposed to be less than or equal to 4. If the sum is 0, this is zero. This is 4. If the sum is greater than 0, then the difference is going to be less than 4. Okay, great. So this gives us a very important piece of information which we can generalize and use. So this tells us that a squared is less than or equal to 4. Great. So we need to use this information and obviously we need to turn it into a cube. Uh, because we are supposed to show that the sum of the cubes is less than or equal to 8. So how do I use that information? First of all, I'm, notice that if a squared is less than or equal to 4, then a is going to be less than or equal to 2. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides and write this as a minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. So if I have an expression like a minus 2, or b minus 2, or c minus 2, or d minus 2, which is true for all of them, right, it's always going to be less than or equal to 0. So this is what I like to do. Since I want to go to the cubes from here, because what I'm trying to prove is the sum of the cubes is less than or equal to 8, I'd like to multiply both sides of this inequality by something. But notice that if you multiply both sides of an inequality by something negative, then the inequality sign changes. And we don't want that. And we, we don't have any control over A because we only know that A is less than or equal to 2. A could be negative as well, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply both sides by A squared. And we know that A squared is non-negative. Therefore, this operation will be valid, right? We can multiply and the inequality sign does not change. So what am I going to do next? Let's distribute A cubed minus 2A squared is less than or equal to 0. This is the critical part because not only a squared is a good thing to multiply both sides by, but also it gives us what we are looking for, which is the sum of the cubes. But I have cubes and squares on both sides, so let me go ahead and add 2a squared to both sides, and this gives us a cubed is less than or equal to 2a squared. I just wrote cube, but that's supposed to be a square. Great. So we now know the relationship between the, the cubes and the squares. And since this is true for any of these variables, it doesn't matter which one you picked first, right? A, B, C, D, don't matter. So I can say the same thing for B. B cubed is less than or equal to 2B squared, 2B or not 2B. C cubed is less than or equal to 2C squared, and D cubed is less than or equal to 2D squared. And notice that we're trying to prove that the sum of the cubes is less than or equal to 8, and we're going to get this just by adding these inequalities. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be fun. We can add inequalities, they're all in the same direction. So we get a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus d cubed is less than or equal to 2a squared plus 2b squared plus 2c squared plus 2d squared. And then obviously this expression can be factored on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and take out the 2. And we're going to get a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. And we're given that a squared plus c, b squared plus c squared plus d squared 
is equal to 4 in our expression. Therefore, we can just replace it with 4. Here we go. This is equal to 4. Therefore, the sum of the cubes a cubed plus c, b cubed plus c cubed plus d cubed is less than or equal to 2 times 4, which is 8. And that's what we were trying to prove. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.